Hello, Reapers and Trolls. Eric, the Plague Doctor, 981YT here. And guys, I am back with more Minecraft Story Mode. So guys, in the last one, we fought the Ghast Queen and finished off Episode 3. And Ghast Queen, I thought, was going to be a lot harder, so... That ended up being a short video once I figured out how to figure out the gas queen. It was super easy. So. Uh, anyways, guys, let's do this. Let's see what we're doing next. Previously okay, on Minecraft Story Mode. The admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head-on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Okay. Have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nerm. Can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Stop it! You're hurting her feelings! Nerm wanted to stay, Jack. You have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It'd be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... slow. Oh boy. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or... he was just a monster pretending to play along. Who knows? Honestly. And Fred's guys, keep is that I just way. want to say Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. 
That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin creating monstrosity. <laughs> Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes! Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go. Going. Shit, 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 shit. Thank you. Dismantling the tower. Oh shit! I pressed. Pressed it too late. My bad. Thank you. Dismantling the tower. Lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? Do, do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. There's that ninja from the last episode. So, guys, um. Me and Luigi ended up playing uh, Friday the 13th with one of Luigi's friends who's slowly becoming one of my friends, uh, Sock Piglet. And I'm actually working on uploading that video right now. Sock Piglet is... What the... Sock Piglet's now a member of uh, my uh, Minecraft I'm actually building her her own house. Because right now she is with uh, Luigi. So I thought it'd be uh, nice to give her her own house. Surprise her. I haven't really uh, completed it just yet. Yeah, I haven't completed her house at all yet. But from what I do have complete of it right safe? now. I mean, you know, not asking for me, cause, cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State of the art machinery, automated farming. The Oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's... Home? So sorry, I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Wait, this is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on, I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you walking carpet. <laughs> Yourself! You, uh... Okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. 
Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps. No sense of humor, terrible conversationalist. I don't think the problem is with Luna, Jack. What? Don't you think this might be because you miss Nerm? I... Yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, Luna. <clears throat> we will get Nerm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh, I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <laughs> Look at this! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? Ah! Wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto! Ditto. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. I made sure. So won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your, your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you? I like Zara, and I think she's a bit misunderstood. I'm not gonna deny that she doesn't have a few screws loose. Zara, what are you doing over here by does. this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this, if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. The Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it and get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara, if you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even... better? I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. All right, fighting time. Uh, I had a lot of fun uh, last night with Piglet and uh, Luigi. Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh great, just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Here we come! Ah, 
Jesse? Oh no, who made eye contact with the Enderman? Sorry. No! Shit. It's okay, we're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! Jack! I'm okay! No! Need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. <sighs> you don't know what an admin smells like. Nope, no nope. trouble here. Just two people hanging out. Yeah, Shut. you look like you're having a great time. <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die! The first one! Pick the first one! I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. You should help us because it's the right thing to do. If you see someone in trouble, you have to do something. You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. Ooh. No deal! Yeah, well that's... disappointing. <laughs> yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, squishies! World this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast! Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. <laughs> Move out, ya stink bags! Jack! Okay, I think Jack's alive. Survives the fall or not when you refuse the Jack? Table. Sorry about your pal. Hope that sword was worth it. <laughs> See ya. Jesse. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Where's Jack? He didn't make it. Come on. And then, he was gone. Did you see him land? I hope he's alive, it can't though. Can't be, Jesse. 
He... He'll be fine, right? I I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. If I hadn't... No, Jesse. This isn't on you. You said it was an accident. That means it could have happened to anyone. Wait. What about Luna? What about her? She's a treasure-sniffing llama, right? Treasure-sniffing, not jack-sniffing. I don't think Luna would be much help here. Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. I feel bad for these Careful. people, honestly. They might be well armed and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters. Oh man, I love trivia. You do? Yes, it's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every... I mean, uh, oh, look at that. Uh, but last night when I did uh, Dead by Daylight with uh, Welcome to Fred's Piglet Eve. and Luigi. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. Yeah, so I had a lot of fun with uh, Luigi and Piglet last night when we did Dead by Daylight. It was actually uh, really fun to do a video with them and Piglet especially. So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Let's go talk to Hilda. Hi, um... Okay. Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hole. That's why I use two. 
and why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool? Yeah? Sure? Makes sense? Uh, bye. Yeah, playing with them was fun, guys, and I actually just uploaded the uh, video r right now. That's kind of why I seem a little distracted. Fuck the cam. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. Don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. Backing away, nice and non-threatening. They're so paranoid, but I don't blame them. I want to talk to these people. I don't want to talk to Petra. Okay. Wanda. Let me guess. Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prop like. I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. Pretty sure Fred's favorite color was blue. Bushes around. Yep, there's one. I can definitely use these. There, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog! What are you... Oh, no! Waffles! Waffles! Come back! Come back! <laughs> waffles, huh? Waffles. Fine, you got me. It's waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Not yet. Don't you waste those resources I gave you. Sacrifice my hands to get them. All right, time to make a painting. So 
I think Fred's favorite color was blue. Here you go. All done. But <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue. Okay, oh, so it's lapis. Same blue. color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. Just trying to figure out if if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Okay, um, I think that's everyone we need to talk to. <laughs> Not to hurt yourself. Uh, how long were you? Uh, I guess I was getting a little carried away. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. If he does anything to Beacon Town, I'm gonna be the one to make him pay. You're, uh, kinda scary sometimes. In a good way. I get that a lot. Look, uh, if there's one thing I good. learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. Uh, hey, Luna, come give me a, give me a huff. Uh, weight resistance, you know? Uh, 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 oh <laughs> oh, baby, feel that burn. Oh, feel it. I'm feeling it. Feel it. Okay, well, I think we're good on the people we need to talk to. We need to talk to any of them. Don't need to talk to them. Okay, I think we're righteous now. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Yes. I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone. Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now. Gather round, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent. And we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse, it's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude. Kent, be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! I'm just gonna build his head like I. I never really do his body, I just do his head. I'm not sure, I think I win this um, segment of it, but I'm not positive.
Honestly, when I first played through Season 2, I was actually hoping that Fred was still alive and survived somehow. And was gonna show up and help us defeat the admin, but that never happened. Would have been cool if it did. I usually win this segment, but I could lose this time. Okay, what color was his nose? Nose the same. This honestly, looks like a f the Cookie Monster or something. Yeah, we're gonna lose to this guy, 100%. Bucket, we'll deal with this. Nice. I'll deal yes. with that. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit I didn't lie with, with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though. I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food oh that's easy any truly faithful friend would know that fred enjoyed bread correct now you jesse fred was a loyal fan of the color blue we all know that but what kind of blue did he love the most your time begins now come on jesse you can do this lapis. his favorite color was lapis blue that is correct well done Next question. Kent, yeah, Fred right. was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool, what was it? A diamond hoe, obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. <laughs> what was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely. Kent is so triggered right now. 
The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our Birch. homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... Uh... Yes! Yes! Birch was Fred's yes. favorite. Yes! That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the uh, sleeping garments. You would really... I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> oh my god, Ken's so upset. Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. Of a basic house, but it, okay, if whatever I works. were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? Let's see if I can remember where this was located. Nothing in here now, except that button. Ooh, mystery button. It's a Whoa! Secret room! Secret room. <laughs> There's gotta be something down here. Oh, there's a map. Really, the map's this small? He ain't got nothing on me and Lane's map. Three towns. There's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? Let's see. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. This is Fred's journal. This is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? And he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Yeah, that cabin's kind of hidden in a secret area. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Um... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge. And it was shared with me in great confidence before... I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and yep. only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, well, 
Did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vita, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, massive, she says. Take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Where did... Where did... Hey, give that back! Ugh, thanks. Oh, thanks. All right, guys, I... Romeo Berg may at one point have had a massive army, but given the state of this entire world, I'd hardly call it massive. Especially considering I know what the army looks like. Man, I can't believe but how. But at 48 minutes in on Twitch, uh, this is where we will end things, guys. So until the next one, this has been Eric, the Plague Doctor, 981YT, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.